Disgraced former police chief Louis K. Aloha says he's doing his best to redeem himself in prison. But the victims, whom he and his wife owe thousands in restitution, they want assurances of payback. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. In a rare glimpse into Louis K. Aloha's life behind bars, K. Aloha explains what he's been doing, where his considerable pension has been going, and his regrets about the crimes he's serving time for. For years, Louis K. Aloha was Honolulu's top cop. Now he's prisoner 06015122 at the Federal Detention Center in Sheridan, Oregon. In a rare letter from behind bars, he says, over the past two years in prison, I have reflected and realized I should have done more to stop the situation from escalating. A situation in which he and his deputy prosecutor wife, Catherine, along with HPD officers, framed her uncle, Gerard Puana, in a mailbox theft hoax, partially as a cover in a financial fraud that cost Catherine's grandmother her home and savings. Louis continues, my lack of judgment has cost me almost everything I have worked for in all of my life. He's asking a federal judge for help avoiding a default judgment for damages. While he's serving time, every dime of his city pension is going elsewhere. It has all been going to restitution for the last year or so. It took a long time. Monthly, the grandma's trust uh, gets about $2,200, something like that. Gerard gets about eight or $900. Gerard and Florence's trust got $2.85 million from the city in the federal case, plus much smaller amounts from some of the other HPD officers involved in the scheme. That we want some sort of a judgment against Louis and Catherine, which is going to be held over their heads when they got out of prison. Otherwise, it ends and they just pick up their lives and they go on with uh, however they wish. Louis's letter was prompted by plaintiffs seeking an evidentiary hearing on damages and to get a default judgment. Louis says the court-ordered obligation to pay restitution places a hardship on me because I am falling behind on paying my bills and trying to avoid bankruptcy. Catherine, of course, has paid nothing, and Louis's been paying his pension while he's a guest of the government, and that will continue. But once he gets out of prison, there is no recourse against him as far as I know. Louis asks the court for help navigating what's next and says, I am doing my best to redeem myself and rehabilitate myself. He's helping other inmates earn their GED, delivers the Sunday sermon for Christian ministry, and helps other inmates adjust to prison life. The things that Louis says he's doing in prison to try to help others, what do you make of that? That's certainly to his credit, and eventually will inure to his benefit in terms of getting good time credits in prison and getting out earlier but it certainly doesn't address the evil that he and his wife uh, were responsible for and the number of people that they hurt before they got to this point. He hurt some people pretty badly and he damaged some institutions very seriously. And his two page letter saying that he's trying to come to grips with what he did is just not a very adequate or sufficient explanation. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.